This Korean screen is from the Joseon period. Uh, it actually dates to the 19th century, and it has had some serious issues over the years in which there's discoloration and paint flaking, and then just different structural problems with the screen itself. Pam applied for a grant from the National Museum of Korea to conserve the screen, and they were very generous in helping to pay for the entire process. So this video is to help audiences and visitors see the amount of work and detail that goes into the conservation process. And we wanted to bring that process to life for visitors in our galleries. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks beautiful. That blue is incredible. Yes, this blue is very special color, especially in uh, Korean painting in Joseon Dynasty. Uh, in China and in Japan, a uh, different blue is used. Mm -hmm. um, my first, the, the painting problems, mm -hmm. the discolorations. Mm -hmm. and you can see also those darkened stain-like spots. You can see those all the black, mm -hmm. black spot. It's actually the insect ex excrement. Yes. Fry, fry specks. And this structure is not established properly in the, the previous mounting. I'm going to use cedar or spruce for this painting. This time we're gonna use the, nice. we're gonna adapt the diagonal joint. Mm -hmm. So it's silk evenly. This specification is only used for cultural properties mm -hmm. and national treasure in mm -hmm. Japan. After we establish the safe condition of the painting, mm -hmm. we remove the painting support from the core mm -hmm. and then we remove the old backings. Now for Asian painting conservation, mm -hmm. we have to repeat those demounting process mm -hmm. once 50 years or once 100 years. But yeah. sometimes because of the past temporary treatment or some in appropriate treatment, mm -hmm. it, it becomes very difficult mm -hmm. to remove the painting support from the core. If we go over, mm -hmm. yeah. it cut the painting support. Yeah. And also, if we are not conscious in the spatula position, we're going to break the painting. It's really scary experience. Asian painting is painted with, with the mineral pigments and mixed with the animal skin glue diluted in water as a binder. Mm -hmm. This animal skin glue is called Sanzen bone. Mm -hmm. uh, this is called Usunibe. Actually, they are not produced anymore oh, in a current field. So very precious. Precious. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. So you can see the difference of the yeah. color. And this is the sea seaweed. Okay. Dry seaweed. Mm -hmm. Seaweed paste. Yeah, because of the different molecule, we have to make the different absorption to the depends on the pigment conditions. So the painting 
condition seems very, I don't know, comparatively in good condition, but the pigment is, actual pigment condition is really poor. And also pigment condition is different, mm -hmm. ah. different on the colors. The most dangerous one mm -hmm. was the yellow one. Oh. There was an actual breakage here. Tears and large tears, past repairs, other minor tears. Under uneven skin condition for the painting support. As long as it, with Dutch paste used, we can easily go back to the original state. So keeping the reversibility of treatment is very important mm -hmm. things for us. Mm -hmm. To to use the mounting our mounting work, the cooked paste is sieved. So it's ready to use. So we dilute it with water mm -hmm. to the proper thickness, mm -hmm. depending on the process. The previous backing paper quality is not so good. It was oxidized and changed the, its colors. The original painting support has very thin, thin paper. And uh, therefore, these reddish, uh, browny color create the uneven discoloration. We're gonna remove those previous backing paper today, and then put the new backing paper. The original paper painting support has very short paper fiber. Therefore, it's really brittle. Therefore, the next next process is very dangerous and serious process. almost removed the previous marking so a little bit relieved I've just finished repairing the damages and the feeling, feeling the loss and the enforcement to the tails. And uh, we re-established the folding machine. And then the painting support is ready to be backed. Now I'm going to do the first backing, the most dangerous stage. Next. Most of the first backing stages is the one chance job. When the paper contact, we cannot lift it up. If we did a mistake, it will break the painting support itself. So it's really scary moment to me. I've just finished the first backing. It, it has to be dried completely once. And then after the complete drying, we're gonna add the one more layer of the backing. The second pa backing paper is more thicker. And this paper is called Hosakawa paper. 
the strongest handmade paper in Japan. This is the result of the backing. Has to be demounted at least once 50 years or 100 years. This project is very learning experience to me.